Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to do one of my favorite problems. This is um, this involves repeating decimals, and I've done this problem a lot with many teachers. And uh, I, always, I I I really I want you for this problem to make it. You know, I could give you the answer, and it could it all could make sense, and you know, you'd walk away feeling very happy. But but for the dramatic effect, you're going to need a calculator for this. So I want you to grab a calculator, and I don't mean I want you to grab one of these. You know, no one. I mean, sure, if you have a scientific calculator handy, which cost me way too much money, you could use, or you could use your cell phone. I'm hoping you use your cell phone. So you have your cell phone handy. It has the the calculator app open, and we're going to start with this problem. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to read it. I always want you to read these problems over and take a closer look at them. So first, let's take a look at this problem. Number eight. This is on the general curriculum math practice test. Um, here's, here's how it goes. Use the procedure below to answer the question that follows. I read this over and I study this because it's always important to look at these diagrams. And the one thing that I see in this, uh, in this model that they have over here is that it has repeating decimals. That's what these dots mean. It means that this 0.63 is actually repeating. So right away, one of the big characteristics of this problem looks like it has to do with repeating decimals. Then I read the portion here on, uh, on what it's asking us to do. It says the procedure above shows how to convert a repeating decimal to a fraction. That's good to know. So I do know this, is, this, ha this, has, this directly has to do with repeating, um, converting repeating decimals to fractions. It says if 0.1256, 1256 is a, dec um, is a decimal with four repeating digits, which of the following represents this decimal as a fraction? Well, you know, I read it once, and I read it again, and I guess that the key information that I want you to take away is this. One, this involves repeating decimals, as noted by uh, the digits here with the repeating digits and the dot, dot, dot. That means the numbers repeat. Two, it tells me that we're going to be dealing with converting repeating decimals to fractions. So this up here is a method for turning repeating decimals into fractions. Three, then it gives us another example of repeating decimals. It tells us that it's a four-digit four repeating decimal, and it tells us, you know, it wants to know what fraction it's converted to. Now, most teachers look at this method, and they're like, I don't understand it. And personally, I, I, I get it, but I would never remember this way to on how to take a repeating decimal and convert into a fraction. It just doesn't, it's not something that, you know, rings true in my, my heart. So let's try another way to help us out with this. So if this was on the, if I was tutoring you or, you know, this was during one of the big workshops, you know, I'd be like, dramatic moment in my suit and tie, and I'd be like, now I want you to rip this out of your book. Or, you know, usually I just say take a big marker and, and cross that procedure out because that is totally not helpful. What is helpful is what I'm going to show you right now, which is a method on how to convert any type of repeating decimal into a fraction. And it has a very, very fancy name. I want you to learn the name. I think it's French. could be Latin. Very, very fancy. Super fancy. It's called, it's a fancy name for this rule. It's called the rule of nine. Or we could just say the nine rule, whatever flows through both. And here's how it works. Let's say I have this repeating decimal. First thing you do is you identify what portion is repeating. Uh, so I could rewrite this as 0 0.1 repeating. That's another way to express this repeating decimal. I put the portion that's repeating in a box. So I identify the por portion that's repeating. I put it in a box, and the third step is, I do a dividing sign, I ask myself, how many digits in that box? Right now there's one one. I put one nine, and I get this fraction, nine over one. Now to make this dramatically, you know, you know, make sense, I'm going to ask you to take your calculator, 
you're of course you are obviously uh, not using one of these. You're using your you're using your phone right now, and you, what you're going to do is you're going to yeah, I'll try and bring it up to the camera. You're going to do one divided by nine. Now let's see what happens when I press enter. Oh, look at that! It's my repeating decimal. I just found a way to turn this repeating decimal into a fraction by using the nine rule. Hmm. You did that so fast, Chris, I didn't quite get it. Well, let's do it again. Let's take another repeating decimal. How about 0, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2? Repeating. Identify the portion that's repeating. That's just the 12. Put it in a box. Sure, I could write it as 0 0.12 repeating. doesn't matter. All I need to do is identify the portion that's repeating. All right? Do a dividing sign. How many digits in the box? Two. Two digits, so I use two nines. So I have this fraction, 12 over 99. Yikes. I don't even know what that was, but uh, it sounded big. Now I take my trusty uh, cell phone slash calculator. I do 12 divided by 99, because I have two digits, so two nines equals 1.0.1.2.1.2.1.2. Again, repeating decimal, using the 9 rule, found the fraction. So this fraction represents this repeating decimal. One more, because I know you're like, this is too good to be true. This is too cool, too cool for school. Well, it is really cool. So we'll do two really quickly. How about this one? 0.123. One, two, three. I identify that this is the portion that's repeating. I put it in a box. There are three digits in the box. I add three nines. Bam! Look at that. I just found my repeating decimal. It even works with nice ones that you already sort of know the answer to, like this one. 0 0.333 repeating. You already know the three repeats. Put that in a box. Divide it by one digit in the box, so it's got one nine, so it's three ninths, which can be reduced. Let me get rid of that light. Or not. There you go. Or it can be reduced to uh, one over three. And you kind of already knew somewhere in your, you know, somewhere you knew, you already knew that one third is equal to 0 0.333 repeated. Okay, so this rule really does work. Now, if we go back to the problem, let's take a let's take a look at the problem again. Now, let's just uh, you know what? Let's clear it again. Go back. The procedure above. Well, we're not even worried about the procedure above. We're just going to focus on this one portion of the question, and that was you know how to solve it. And it says, if this is your repeating decimal with four digits repeating. Which which of the following um, um, which of the following represents this decimal as a fraction? So we're going to turn this repeating decimal as a fraction. First, we identify the portion that's repeating. We put it in a box. There it looks like there are four digits, which means there are four nines, which mean C is the answer. Okay, there's lots of music in the background outside my window. I'm hoping you found this helpful. Remember, the rule of nine will save you when it comes to repeating decimals. Once again, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If, you, if you're able to come to one of the workshops or attend one of the classes or um, sign up for the tutoring, you're more than welcome to. You can go to GoMath.com and find out more information about those things. Thanks, everyone. Keep on sending your questions and have a great night. Bye-bye. Let's dance and